This is the pre-class video on rate laws. And it looks like we have a chemical equation on yeah. the board. So I want to start out by doing a little bit of a, a demonstration. right? And we probably have this intuitive idea that how fast chemical reactions go depends on the concentration. Right? If we have really concentrated uh, chemicals, right, they'll react way faster. React really fast. If they're really dilute, not so fast. Right. Right? It's like trying to get a date in the uh, Mojave Desert. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be hard. It's very dilute uh, people out then there. Then you go to New York City. Exactly. Boom. Boom. At least some people can get dates quickly there. Right. So let's look at the demo. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is add two different concentrations of the acid. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add about one mole, uh, 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. So 0.1 molar HCl. And I add that on... And we look, we examine the bottom to see if anything's going on. I don't know, can you see anything, Tyler? I see really tiny bubbles. Yeah, really tiny bubbles. Not very much, it's not happening very quickly. No, it's not crazy at all. Not crazy at all. And this one isn't going to be crazy either. It's just more concentrated hydrochloric acid. I'm going to add one molar, so it's about, about ten times more concentrated. So the first one was 0.1, this is 1. Yeah, the first one was 0.1, Got this it. is about 1. Right, and we can see that the bubbles are being created quite a bit faster. In fact, some of the uh, pieces of metal are being Whoa. lofted by the, the bubbles of hydrogen gas that are uh, being generated by this. Right, so we see that a lower concentration, the reaction goes slower. A higher concentration, the reaction goes faster. Well, and so the question is, what exactly is that relationship? What exactly is the mathematical function that describes that? And that's what we're going to be trying to figure out. That's called the rate law. Yeah, so what we saw was that for that chemical reaction, in general for chemical reactions, the rate depends on the concentration of the reagents. Okay. We could also say that the rate is a function of the concentration, i.e., when you change concentration, you change the rate. That's what that means. This looks like math. Kind of. It looks like letters, right? Letter. Rate is function. Right. Rate is a function of concentration. That's mathematically how you write that, that uh, thing. And so, for chemists, what we want to do is figure out, well, what exactly is that mathematical function? What's the form of that mathematical function? And it turns out that generally for any given reaction coefficient of little a, a, little b, b going to products, the rate of the reaction is a function of the concentration of the reactants. And there's a little constant out in front called the rate constant. There's a concentration of a raised to some power. And this can vary. That power can be zero, meaning it doesn't depend on a. It could be one, it could be two. It can even be things like a half or sometimes negative one, which is kind of weird. And then the other reagent, B. Sometimes, in fact, we can have products in this expression as well. And before you do experiments, you don't really know. You don't know. So the only way to really determine this uh, rate law, that's what this is, is through doing experiments. And so in class, we're going to be looking at some data from experiments and figuring out what the rate law is for a bunch of different reactions. It's the law. The law. Law of the land. You can't go faster than that rate. All right. Okay? So we'll see you in class.